In King County, there have been multiple foodborne outbreaks in recent years that were linked to the consumption of raw meat that was improperly sourced, transported, handled, and consumed. These outbreaks have had a significant impact on the East African communities. Be sure to purchase all your meat from facilities that are inspected by regulatory agencies. We recommend that you pick up your own order and take with you a clean ice cooler with four to six frozen ice packs to minimize the risk of time and temperature abuse. It's really important when you pick up meat from a custom slaughter establishment to make sure that the meat is not leaking. The blood or juices coming out has pathogens and can contaminate yourself. If you were to lick your finger, it could make you sick. So you're gonna make sure the packaging is not leaking. You put it directly into a cooler and maintain the temperature until you get home and are able to put it in your refrigerator or freezer. In King County, a more common way to select an animal is to work with a farm and purchase that animal online through the farm itself and then the farm works with a butcher to have a customs mobile slaughter come out to the farm, slaughter that animal, and then take it to a meat shop where it's cut. Then the customer would typically go to that meat shop and pick up the animal. If you and your family are interested in getting a whole, a half, or a quarter animal, and choosing that animal live and then having it processed, then those animals should be selected from custom slaughter establishment licensed by the Washington State Department of Agriculture. Make sure to wash your hands before and after you handle any type of meat products. Store the meat in the refrigerator as soon as it is delivered. Do not leave the meat at room temperature. Meat is considered a high risk food product. Uh, what we mean by high risk is that the risk of, if it is mishandled, if it temperature abuse, the risk of making people sick is higher. You need to be able to segregate meat from the rest of your food products. All meat products sold at the retail level or served at restaurants must be processed at facilities inspected by the United States Department of Agriculture. If you're purchasing USDA inspected meat, those are at retail and all the restaurants you eat in also are required to select and source USDA inspected meats. This guarantees safer meat, but you still need to cook that meat in order for it to be safe and free from pathogens in your kitchen. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly before and after handling raw meat with soap and water for at least 15 to 20 seconds. Wash or rinse and sanitize all surfaces before and after handling raw meat. Just because it's a USDA inspected uh, meat, it does not mean that it is free from pathogens. It is inspected and approved uh, for cooking and uh, safe handling, uh, not for uh, consumption of raw or undercooked. It puts people at risk uh, of coming down with illness, particularly small children, uh, elderly, and those that are uh, immunocompromised. One thing that we need to be careful is that when we eat from the same plate, we have kids that dine with us. There are elderly that dine with us. If we place the kutfu as part of the platter, then we are putting others at risk as well. Now, the best thing to do is to make sure that uh, if kutfu is served, prefer that, that it is cooked. Uh, in an event it is not cooked, it needs to be put outside the platter and then only those that are uh, interested are able to actually consume it. Here in King County, we have actually have had several outbreaks linked to the consumption of uh, cut for or raw meat in our communities. It has sickened uh, a number of our community members uh, in addition to uh, a fair number of them being hospitalized. With that said, there are ways we could reduce the risk by following a few practical steps, particularly in retail establishments. 
One of them is to actually buy intact meat instead of ground meat. This will reduce the risk of buying contaminated meat during the process of grinding at a commercial facility. Ensure the temperature of the meat is kept cold, that is, less than 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Blanch outside of the intact whole meat in boiling water for 10 seconds. Shave off or trim the outside meat and use the inside undercooked meat to prepare kitfo with. This ensures that the outer surface of the meat that is often contaminated is not used for kitfo. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was brought to you in partnership with Ethiopian Community Center, Eritrean Community Center, Public Health Seattle King County, King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks. It was funded by King County King Conservation District.